What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. I'm in the car today. I met up with a good friend of mine by the name of Toby's Ladder. He's a toy collector just like me, and he messaged me and let me know that he found the Punisher that I've been looking for forever and ever and ever. So juice, guys. Check it out. Here he is. Man. Right on, Toby. Thank you for finding this guy. Thank you for connecting me to him we are definitely gonna have a few man sodas or something of the such as soon as this whole covid thing is over god i'm so excited guys i really really want to he was uh he was gonna go toy hunting i i, I got groceries in the car with me also i would have i would have done it too i'm i'm always down for a team up for uh toy hunting stuff like that you know with god let's let thank you thank you again guys Let's uh let's get this guy home. Let's get him in the office and check him out. Let's open him up and add him to the Frank Castle collection. Deuces. Back in the office, guys. We got our we got our boy Frank Castle in here. This is a beautiful box, man. Um, Toby's ladder was telling me he he picked out the one. He he said there was six at his store. Six. I can't get a single one, and they got six. But uh, he said he picked the one with the best. Uh, box best condition. I, I told him thanks. I, I'm I don't plan on saving the box, but I appreciate it. Look at that box art. That's super cool. Side art, awesome. If you guys are still looking for it, here's the uh, UPC. Now, when he uh, when we're gonna meet up, I I, I got all geared up. If, if if you can't tell, I got my my Punisher gear on. Look, I'm even wearing Punisher socks and 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 we don't skip leg day, baby. And nothing. I, I flex on leg day. That makes no sense. Uh, top of box, super cool. Uh, Frank Castle rides through the night dispensing vigilante justice. All right, what do you guys say we get them opened up and see what it do? Once again, one more time, thank you. Thank you again to Toby's Ladder for picking this one up. I wish, wish, wish that I could have went toy hunting with you. I had ice cream. I had eggs in the car. I couldn't, I couldn't let those go bad. But one day we will go out and hunt together. Studio, guys. Follow us. Back in studio, guys. Let's get started with his accessories. We've got the baseball bat. Prior to this one, the only baseball bat comparable would probably be from NECA, the uh, Baseball Furies out of the Warrior line. Pretty smooth, no, no wood grain to it, no detail. Comparable to maybe like a Barbie or something like that. After that, we've got the machete. Pretty cool. You can see the the edging on it. Little slight details in the in the handle. I, I would have liked some wood grain in there. Prior to this, the only way you could get a machete would probably be also through NECA, going with the uh, Friday the Thirteenth line. This is one of Jason's very best, most reliable weapons. Up next, we've got the Israeli-made submachine Uzi. Uzi nine mm your weapons buddy any one of these is ideal for home defense now some people were saying that this is a respray of the one issued for snake eyes slight differences in the uzi next up we've got every gang banger from the 90s favorite assault weapon this is a tech nine no not that guy i believe this is also israeli made uh, holds about 19 rounds in the clip. This is a deadly, deadly weapon on the streets. I like how they even added the detail here for the exhaust ports to vent out. That makes for a better, better accurate weapon when firing. You couldn't hold down the dope spot if you didn't have one of these in the 90s. Next up is the sawed-off shotgun, double barrel. This thing is sweet. My dad used to have one like these, never used to let me use it. Comparable to this one, I don't even remember where this one came from, but I do pose the Punisher with him, and I had thought about sawing it off. Now I don't have to. Uh, probably a better, a better model here. Here we've got one of the most intriguing parts of this figure. Uh, a lot of people might not, might not know, but Punisher was actually in a group called the Kill Crew. Juggernaut. Black Knight, I think Augie, Augie Flat, something like that. Uh, these guys were running around taking care of business. Here we've got head scope number one. Pretty good, pretty clean. He's got the little pink around the eyes. He looks sad, like someone's been farting on his pillow or something. 
chiseled jaw, no cuts, no scrapes. We'll get to the other one in just a second, guys. Up next, we've got the Chopper for his namesake, Punisher Chopper. It's not the first time they reuse this bike, but this is an all new paint scheme. It's got more of a matte black finish. The other one was the one for Wolverine. It had a blue finish. What is new on this one is the handlebars. He's got the sick handlebars. And then look at that decal. It is just a sticker, so be easy on it. Try not to scratch it up too much, but I love the handlebars. I love the, the detail on it. Pops in just like that, and you're ready to go. We've got one Punisher cycle. They did give you kind of a glass finish there and then a red paint. Uh, I would have liked some, maybe some saddlebags on the side, stow his gear, something like that. Uh, pretty cool that they gave us the license plate. 616 universe for the punisher got a little bit of red now if you if you've got a gold acrylic marker you can take a lot of that and give it some good detail personalize it the way you want but what i do like is that it's got it's it looks like it could be a real working bike look here's we've got the the brake system and everything here the pedals don't move but can't have it all and then you can shift that off and then just ride all right guys we got the main man front and center before we get started though let's introduce you guys to the punisher gang similar to like say other guys picking up the mantle or like a whole crew of guys running running the streets of new york as the punisher gang from left to right we've got cosmic ghost rider hiding in the back john bernthal as the netflix punisher skullbuster wearing the head of crossbones Way in the back, we've got the Tactical Punisher with two AR-15s with grenade launchers. His wingman in the back would be Punisher War Machine. Walgreens exclusive Punisher toting the M60. And you got Crossbones with the head of Skullbuster. And we also can't forget about the Marvel Select Punisher with the super sick diorama in the back. Let's take a look at the body. It, on first glances, it looks like Marvel gave us a brand new body mold, but it's actually the same body mold as Luke Cage. I don't have a Luke Cage, but I have Hydro Man. And it's same, I mean, you can't tell by the arms, obviously, but legs, chest, all the same body parts of Hydro Man. On the legs, he comes equipped with a tactical clip. It's similar to the one back here, as well as... Netflix Punisher. A few reviews I've seen have talked about how dull the white skull is. If you have a acrylic pen, you can touch it up if you're kind of feeling brave. Let's get into something real quick about the look. He's got the uh, X bracing that you see on like Deadpool and things like that, but I got him flexed off showing the guns. This is my first figure with the no pin technology. It took the pins away. Will it be good? Will it not be good? I don't know. Time, time will tell. Will they break easier? We'll, we'll find out. Uh, just off first glance, the bicep and forearms are a different color from the wrist and shoulders. So that's kind of a that's kind of a lull. Busted up Frank and look that far up, that far down, as well as a full 360. Nothing hindering them there. You can go 360 on the on the shoulder. The new bicep swivel is pretty similar to the regular Marvel Legends. Nothing nothing changes there. And then the double jointed with the no pin technology. His right hand is his trigger hand. So it's going to be an up and down this way. While the left hand is going to be hinging that way. He does come with an ab crunch. Waist swivel 360. Double jointed at the knees. There are pins in the legs. Uh, no no calf rotation, we get thigh rotation. Goes up that far, back that far, and a 360. Chopper Punisher can spread it open that far, kicks forward that far, no kickback, but if you open up the thighs, you can run it back just a little bit. It looks weird though. So a buddy of mine on Instagram showed me a little hack on how you can get him to hold all his accessories while still being in Frank Castle mode. I like this one. I think with the uh, the non-busted up face mold, that's the one I'm going to use for him and his Kill Crew helmet. This thing is just sick. I'm going to have so much fun with all these different gun variants, just putting guns in his hand and posing them and doing all kinds of crazy things, as well as riding on the hog. 
Super cool, guys. If I'm ever in NYC, Frank Castle's a deterrent for me to stay out of trouble, keep my nose clean, because I know he's going to come and get you. I don't want to call this figure of the year. We're only in August, plus it was a $40 price point, but I am really loving everything about this. Other than the two different tones on the arms, I, I don't really see anything wrong with this figure. I, I love everything about it. Again, it is a $40 figure. I think that's going to wrap it up for us, guys. I, I appreciate everyone for watching this video. I know a lot of people have gotten this review, this video out already. Uh, if it weren't for my buddy Toby's Ladder, I'd still be looking for this thing myself. So big ups to him. Thank you again. And guys, I don't want to self-promote, but follow us on Instagram. Uh, that's that's the best way to get a hold of me. That's, that's the way Toby did. We just started chopping it up. Bam, now we're friends. So yeah, if you guys ever want to do any like one-on-one -on -one time and stuff like that, DMs, all that good stuff. The Wolfpack Toy Review. That's going to bring it to a close, guys. Drop us a like if you guys enjoyed this review. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And share us with some like-minded individuals. Deuces, guys. We will see you on the next one.